this video, I'm going to provide you with a few tips for balancing equations. When balancing a reaction, we can only manipulate the coefficients. See how that's in red and it's underlined and it's circled? I want to emphasize that. The only thing we can change are coefficients. We can't change subscripts. We can't change the way the formula is written. We can only write the reaction and then once the reaction is written, only then can we manipulate the coefficients. So here's a few tips. If possible, if possible, you can't always do this, but if possible, balance the polyatomic ions as a group. Choose a starting point, and if that doesn't work, choose another starting point. And sometimes it's helpful to look for least common multiples. So let's try a sample problem. Let's just pick a place to start. Any spot is good. Let's say we'll start here with silver. If we have two silvers on the right, that means we're going to need two silvers on the left. So by placing this coefficient of two out front, that made two silvers, but it also, of course, made two iodines. So now we have two iodines on the left. That means we're also going to need two iodines on the right. You can see we already have three iodines. So there really isn't a number that we can place out front um, to make this a two. That really doesn't work. So you know what? We chose a starting point, and that didn't work out so well. So let's just go ahead and choose another starting point and see if that will be any easier. Okay, let's start at iron this time. You can see we have two irons on the left. So that means we need to make two irons on the right. So two irons, and but now we have um, two times three, we have six iodines. So if we have six iodines on the right, that means we're going to need six iodines here on the left. So by making six iodines, we also made six silvers. So now we need six silvers on the right. So we need a coefficient of three. So we made three carbonates. Remember, carbonate is CO3. Looks like we also have carbonate on the left as well. So we have three carbonates on the right. And we have three carbonates now on the left, because this is carbonate, and we have three of them. So this equation is balanced. Okay, let's try another problem. Let's balance this reaction. If possible, we want to balance the polyatomic ions as a group. Let's see if that works. Well, we have sulfate on the left. We also have sulfate on the right. We have hydroxide on the left, and we have hydroxide on the right. So in this case, we can balance the polyatomic ions as a group. It won't always work out, because sometimes on the left, we might have sulfates, but then on the right, we might have sulfur and oxygen um, existing separately. But in this case, we can do that. So let's pick a place to start. I just randomly selected sulfate. So we have three sulfates here on the left. That means we need um, three sulfates on the right, of course. So let's place a coefficient of three over here. That made three calciums on the right. It means we're going to need three calciums here on the left. Making three calciums also made six hydroxides. So remember, we're multiplying this three times two. So now we have six hydroxides on the left. So what number do I have to put here to make six hydroxides? That's right, two. And we have two aluminums on the right, and we also already have two aluminums on the left. So this reaction is also balanced. All right, let's try one more example. This time, we're going to look for least common multiples. Let's look at the element chlorine. We have two chlorines on the left, and we have three chlorines on the right. What's the least common multiple of two and three? It's, of course, six. So how can we make six chlorines on the left and six chlorines on the right? What coefficients do we need? Well, let's put a three here and a two there. 
So now we have six chlorines on the left and six chlorines on the right. Okay, by placing this three here, we made six chlorines, but we also made three cobalts, which means we'll need three cobalts on the right. And by placing a 2 here, we also made 2 irons. So now we need 2 irons on the left. So now this equation is balanced, and it now obeys the law of conservation of mass.